Yo, what's up guys? I'm Black Hero, and in this Block Monsters video, I'm gonna teach you how to transfer your Block Mons from one account, or one MetaMask wallet, currently, I'm storing them on MetaMask, to another MetaMask wallet, specifically, alright? So we're gonna be transferring Block Mons from one place to another, or if you know, if you wanna trade with your friends, you know, like you say, your your friend has a Flame Sire, and you want an Orcalf, you can swap for free without going through the marketplace and buying stuff so right now we just you know all right so right now we're on our dashboard right you want to go because right now you can't you can't you can't do anything here you can't swap them on the official website but they are partnered with a website called lutex.io so you can see right here so on their official website if you hit marketplace it will bring you to lutex.io you need to connect your wallet all right so I'm going to connect my MetaMask. And then after that, you want to go to the vault. All right. So it's up here, top right corner. Go to the vault. And that will show you your, you see, your, all your mana, all your mon block monsters on your MetaMask wallet. So I am going to be transferring them from using Lutex. All right. That's pretty much the video. Okay. So we're going to do, this is actually the first time I'm doing this. We're going to do a test on 33505. All right, we're going to send this rioter, right? So you click the block monster you want to send, right? Or you want to transfer. So for instance, for me, it's this one, 33505. Remember, guys, you're going to need some gas fees. So you make sure you have BNB. All right, we're on the Binance Smart Chain. So make sure you're on that network as well. All right, so you choose your block monster. You go to the top right where there's three dots. And then you go look for transfer. So you see transfer there so transfer asset writer you are no longer the items owner once finished if the entered wallet address does not exist this item will be lost forever so you have to make sure that this is right with any transaction guys with any transaction so we're going to send it to this address here all right this is my fiance's address all right we're going to copy the address a smart chain bnb it has to be the same network beautiful okay hit it says okay confirmation says okay we can hit transfer asset but what i always like to do is i like to confirm all right so i do a control f v all right and then aside from that i look at the first so 0x 830 all right and then it ends in 8t2d2 all right beautiful then you hit transfer asset and then there's going to be a notification that pops up it's going to re require you to use some gas for instance, okay, that's about like 20 cents, 40 cents. Hit confirm. Once confirm is hit, you open up your MetaMask act activities. You see it's pending. And here on lutex.io, it's saying waiting response from MetaMask. So you just wait, all right? Make sure nothing happens. Make sure there is no power outage. Look at the bottom right. Transaction is set. Please wait for blockchain to process. So as of right now, it's a waiting game. We don't know how long it's going to take, but we're going to wait together. All right, guys, we still have a lot of block monsters to transfer. So there you guys have it. Save transfer from. So there you guys have it. Your item has been transferred. You may take a few minutes to complete, but the transaction status can be found on BS scan. So this is the hatch trash, the transaction cash hash, the, the, the receipt <laughs> right here. So um if we go copy this v that so it's sent from here to here all right now uh to check if it has successfully been sent you actually have to go to your dashboard so on this browser so to do that we're just gonna not we can also do lutex you can also check on lutex if you want um we can actually do that see so here we can connect wallet metamask it's going to ask you to connect on this new account that i just made it's connecting and then wait for it wait for it. you just have to be patient if it's not here yet okay there you guys have it successfully sent writer is now here all right so that's how you do it guys and then now the rest of this video will just be watching me do that a couple more times all right <laughs> okay so we're gonna start off with okay so let's see we don't need this anymore all right we we don't need this technically all right so as you can see here right there's a writer here i think it was one of, there's three right okay when i refresh this page you will only see two all right there should be two left or or something okay all right so and all right so yeah the rioter yeah there's so there's now only two rioters left so and i only have 14 block marks. this used to say 15. okay so we can close that this is done we can close this and it's disappeared here now 
forever okay all right so yeah the the, the the key things here to make sure is the address that you're sending to guys because you cannot save it like in metamask where you know you can save addresses like you know if you want to transfer say money all right send and then you can save different accounts or between accounts you can save all of them yeah you, you have to manually paste it in lutex all right so we're going to send 27 24 next 27 24 oh this is petalis 27 24 so again all right click the block monster you want to send for me is hashtag 27 24 top right triple dot transfer all right copy metamask address you want to send to all right boom transfer asset okay beautiful new address detected okay that's good because it's a meta mask okay so we can actually name this i'm going to call this malbam the second all right save so that way we know that that's going to be the consistent address you can also double check with the profile pic here um with this one right here so see it's different why does it look different i guess wait all right 90 e2 yo that's different whose address is that i guess that's a. I guess that's not i guess that's a metamask thing right wait that's that's very scary all right we didn't check that a while ago all right so where is that okay this is this right we're gonna hit reject for now all right all right so see it says here d2 but then here i i guess it's a it's it's like it's a bridge it's a bridge i'm guessing that's what that is um so yeah to see right here to mao bomb the second this was a success just a while ago so i'm guessing this is a specific bridge address that's a temporary address that when it's sent through here it'll be sent redirected through here i think you can actually read that more in detail here Oh, there. See, interacted with. There you go. This one. This address is here. This is my interact address. Maybe everyone has their own specific address before the transfer is made. Okay, so I think there's nothing to be worried about. All right, let's just delete this again. All right, because, you know, we want to be safe, guys. We want to be sure that... Why can't I delete this? Okay. All right, hit that. Boom. All right, hit cancel. All right, close. All right, and then refresh just to be safe. All right, let's start from scratch. Okay, so let's connect our wallet to the vault. We go. All right, so I want to transfer hashtag 2724. Go to the triple dots on the top right corner. Hit transfer. All right, go to the MetaMask that I want to transfer the asset to. Hit paste. Confirm 0830 82 d2 transfer asset. All right, here is Malbom the second. Confirm. Okay, it's being confirmed. All right, pending. All right, I wonder how fast it'll actually pen. I mean, transfer. If I just hit refresh here, does it transfer right away even though it's still pending on the other side? That that I'm curious about. Oh, wow, that was fast. There, there, there you go. There you guys have it. That, there, there it is. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. So hit done, close, and it's gone here. Now, next is 23... 55 that is a flame sire 2355 all right so remember guys my gas that we started was at 0 0.058 something now it's at 0 0.05 just keep a note of the gas all right and you can you know you can i guess guess how much gas i have all right i have 0 0.04877 gas now all right 0 0.004877 gas i mean bnb for gas okay all right, so top right, transfer. All right, go back here. All right, copy the address. Address copied. I'm sure that's the right address. Confirm. All right, so was that 0 0.00485? I think, I believe it was. Okay, so here, good success. Hit refresh here. See, it's pretty straightforward, and it, you know, it, there's no tax involved and you know it just requires some gas so there you guys have it flame star successfully transferred we can hit done here okay now let's go check how much gas we have left so we do this send so 0 0.00458 so it took 0 0.0000 um <laughs> three two two some yeah 
It's very, very small, the gas fees, okay? About 0.004 or something. Or, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> no. I can't do math, sorry. All right, now for the last one, we're going to send 1811. That is an Orkalf, 1811. All right, so this Orkalf is going to a new home. All right, 1811. All right, so we're going to go here, top right, hit transfer. This is so... So easy, guys. All right, it's so easy to transfer mon block monsters to an account. All right, hit transfer asset. Beautiful. It's going to go to Mount Bomb the second. All right, interaction interacted address. It's not the actual address, so don't be scared that that is not the same. I guess it's you know, I guess it's being bridged. All right, you can verify here that it's confirmed. And then here you just hit refresh. So far so good. Four times a charm. And that is the last a block of monster we're going to be sending to this account. So this account now has four block monsters. Beautiful. And then if we go to mine, all right, if you hit done, all right, close. Okay. So I had 15 block monsters before. So now I should have 11, right? Eleven. There you go. 11 block monsters so beautiful all right we have two more block monsters to send we're going to send it to a different address we can close this and this is where we're going to send it to we're going to go directly to dashboard here so that way we can just have a good eye on you know whether it was successfully transferred or not okay so here see this orc health that's blacked out yeah that means it's no longer here with me all right, and then when we refresh the vault, right, it's it's gone, it's gone, yeah, forever, forever gone. <laughs> Orkov, bye, bye. It was fun while it lasted. All right, sorry guys, not to not to hold you guys for too long. All right, so here we're going to send it to no name. All right. So what am I going to send? 2218. We're going to send 2218. That is a flame sire. Hashtag 2218. We're going to transfer asset. Okay. All right. Now I'm curious if the name on the BS can that you're going to interact with is going to be different. All right. So 4C6, 4C6, 9439. Okay. That's right. And then is it going to be, oh, so Malbam. <laughs> that's the that's uh, interaction address of Lutex. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so it's not per different address. It's just gonna send it here, and then it's gonna send it to um, the address that you want to send it to, right? Which is gonna be this address. Okay. All right, and then we have to connect this account, MetaMask. All right, you have to give it permission to connect and then it will load and then you will see a flame sire here in a bit. And you say, there you go. Flame sire is now here. Beautiful. All right, it's done. We can close that. The flame sire has not been blacked out. Now we're going to send the last one. We're going to send this or calf. 2210, we're going to transfer it. Copy the MetaMask address. Remember, guys, when you have a MetaMask address, always save the seed phrase on a physical piece of paper and the private keys, all right? Always, always, even if it's the first account. Save the private keys and the seed phrase, all right? So 0469345, transfer assets, and then hit confirm, and then we just wait. While we wait, that's pending. We can hit refresh here. And once that is done, you should see two black monsters here, just beautiful, waiting to be staked. All right, so there you guys have it. We successfully transferred six black monsters using Lutex. Thank you so much, Lutex. You are making life so much convenient. Because I know there's another way where you have to use MetaMask mobile only, and then there's this NFT option, and then you have to copy the ID address, and it's very complicated, but through here, you can use it on a web browser on your PC. It's very, very straightforward. So yeah, there you guys have it. I now have nine block monsters, all right? So if you go to dashboard block monsters, this should say nine, 
All right, so these are all mine. All right, I'm going to stake these because staking is happening any second now. Beautiful. All right, so there you guys have it. That is how you transfer block monsters from one wallet to another just by using gas fees. And how much gas fees did we start off with? I have no idea, but this is how much gas fees we ended with. I still have 0 0.003201 BNB left. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, I am Black Hero. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. And until next time, see ya. All right, that was that was pretty straightforward. Yo, I can't wait for NFT staking. Where is it? When is it? They're doing like this shock drop, all right? I'm going to stake this Blaken, this Rioter, this Orca. I'm going to stake all of them, all right? I'm going to stake you all. Might as well stake you guys here on these accounts as well. All right. Technically, I'm in control of three accounts.